Hey guys, welcome back to more Fallout 3, and yeah, we were right here, at the door of the Museum of Technology. Oh, I just, like, we went in there last time and saw Super Mutants and headed right back out, because I needed to cut off the video. But, uh, yeah, there he is. Don't think I can shoot through a plane at him. I don't think so. <gasps> oh my god, there's more. I said vats! What the hell, dude? Oh, very nice outfit. Now I need to go right into my inventory as soon as possible. Yes. Uh, aid. Ant meat. Lovely. Yum yum. Oh my god, this is all the aid I have. Holy shit. Oh lord. Shit. Got a headshot on him. Stop reloading, my god. Where are you? Oh god. Don't shoot me, please. sure about that. Cause I'm kinda like coming in here and shooting all you guys. Oh my god, stop missing. Alright. Nice shot. Now, there's no more red blips. I was kind of hoping for a, uh, meat that you guys seem to carry around so much. Um, well, geez, I don't have any means to heal myself with whatsoever. How did that even happen? What the hell? Alright. I need a water fountain. Does it lead me to washrooms? <laughs> Is there any coffee in the coffee pot? Oh god, the heart thumping is really annoying, but I guess I'll go through these. The virus that has been plaguing our archetype model FF06 mainframe due to an unknown attack has finally been localized by our research team and identified. Interesting. After a complete cleanup on the mainframe's core, I am happy to announce that the infection has been removed. The soul of this machine has him. The soul? What? Okay. Our new addition to the spaceflight gallery, the Virgo 22 Lunar Landers, or Lander, is now open to the general public and ready for viewing. I want to extend a hearty thank you and job well done to the entire research and restoration team for pulling that pile of junk out of the mothballs and putting it in such fine shape. Many sleepless nights were spent on this project and as a small token of our thanks you will find a substantial bonus in your next paycheck. Give each other a pat on the back, you've earned it. This is just a quick rundown of acquisitions we have been awarded for 2078. If any of these interests you, please stop by and see me so we can discuss it or submit a standard research request before the cutoff date. All submissions must be made by October 2nd, 2077. So now is the time to get them in. Supersonic Airliner, ZAX, Computer Prototype, Original Model T-45D, pow Power Armor Suit, nice. Laser Pistol Prototype. Research lead. Okay. I'd like to lodge a formal complaint regarding the firearm firearms exposition that's planned for the temporary display in the at atrium. The can't talk with the world tension the way they are right now. I feel it's highly inappropriate to glorify these killing devices by promoting them as a tourist attraction. Really, like that would help anything. 
If this is some sort of patriotic gesture, then it is entirely lost upon me, and I urge you to rethink this decision. Interesting. Can someone please fix the planetarium projection system? The automated system that was just installed is prone to malfunction at least once a week. We've had to interrupt the programming more times than I can care to remember and end up taking over manually. I suggest remo uh, remove the system and bring back the human element so that the audience will feel more engaged. That was helpful, question mark. Oh my god. The hell? A stealth boy? This is the Robco Stealth Boy Model 3001, personal stealth device. Developed by Robert Mayflower, the Stealth Boy generates a modulating field that transmits the reflected light from one side of the object to another, making the bearer almost invisible to the untrained eye. So why is it that that super mutant before could see me even though I had a Stealth Boy on? Which was entirely accidental, by the way. So these are all broken. Yeah. Ruined book, coffee pot, Blanco mac and cheese, fancy lads, turpentine, not interested. Oh, okay. Someone told me that you should press F and then swing your mouse around to see the front, but it's like, ugh, it's kind of awkward. Maybe it's because I'm in, I'm in such a tight quarter. <gasps> I found the washroom! Come on. Drink! Oh, thank god. I don't care about radiation. My god. Bathrooms in this game are like OP! My god. Well, maybe it's because I'm playing on normal setting. I know if you set it to, like, hard or something, uh, you have to actually watch for hunger and thirst and shit like that. Alright, no more freaking heart thumping in our ears. I'm not interested in any of those. Nothing interesting here, nor in here. <laughs> uh, I remember Quill telling his audience about how he thought <laughs> activating the toilet was uh, going to the washroom, but no, no, it's, it's freaking drinking out of the toilet. Oh, nice! First aid box. God knows we need those. Oh, what is with these super mutants and like? Uh, oh, uh, the sound is so gross. There's gonna be more super mutants somewhere in this building. I just know it. Turret control system. Nice. Oh, great. Well, including releasing. Trying to see if it has more. Okay, so if I do including, that'll also put in improvings for a word that starts with I. Three out of nine. Oh god. That means it could be an ing word. Um. Couldn't be interiors. I'm trying to see if um. It could be any word that is not ing, because obviously include has, well, includes other letters other than ing. <laughs> I n l. Oh my god, intellect has three in common with. No, it doesn't. Because i n c t e l. No, it does not. Insistent. I n. Nope. I n uh, nope. Okay, so I think it will indeed be an ing word, and it has to be one that does not have more than three in common with including. Defeat does not have any. 
Ooh, six out of nine. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, what? No. I think I may want to get rid of some duds here, if possible. But, uh... Come on. Give me one. I'm so scared I'm gonna like accidentally press a the fucking mouse button and uh take one of my guesses by accident. Oh, there's one. Allowance replenish. Fuck. That's not what I wanted. For once that's not what I wanted. I actually wanna save that until uh Dud removed. I don't know which one was removed, so uh that doesn't help. That was the one that was down here. Oh man. Six in common with defeating. Well, I started with including, it's obviously not including. So six in common with defeating, but n only three in common with including. So it has to be an ING word that does not have anything in common with it. Or E E S no, it can't be recycling. Selecting it has a T and an E. It could be selecting actually. Yes. Alright. Uh reconfigure targeting perimeters. I can't. Oh yes I can. Targeting data cleared exercise caution. Activate turret system. System information. Uh what? Do I wanna activate turret system? I'm clicking but it's not doing anything. No targeting data. What? Okay, I'm not exactly sure. Powering down. Okay, so apparently I turned off the uh, thingamabobs. Turrets. Museum maintenance. Whoa, more stuff to read. The planetarium recording system has been malfunctioning lately, causing the normal a normally automated program to stop and repeat itself. If you observe this happening, please contact myself or the chief of maintenance on duty immediately so the system can be restarted. We hope to have the issue resolved by the start of next year. After numerous complaints and a single pending lawsuit, the... How do I even pronounce that? Gigantomax? I guess. Gigantomax's theater sound system... Sorry, my dog interrupted me. <laughs> has been lowered from 130 decibels to 120 decibels. Please note that all employees working in or near the theater should still wear proper ear protection. This is a general announcement to any employees who use the men's lavatory facilities in the maintenance area. I have logged too many complaints that people are not flushing their toilets after using them. That is pretty freaking disgusting. People who use the facilities to relieve themselves expect a clean and tidy environment. To prevent this from becoming a reoccurring issue, card swipe access will be required for each stall, which will log your name, time in the stall, and contents of the bowl until <laughs> such time that we deem it no longer necessary. Oh, that is hilarious. Due to the increased power consumption from the installation of Vault-Tec Vault-Tor, three new reactors have been installed in the sub-basement sec sub section. This should help prevent any further brownouts or full blackouts in the visitor's gallery that we've been experiencing. Thank you for your patience during this transition. Derek Remings. That was a load of- Oh, another Nikola Tesla in you, even though I don't really need it. Because I don't really have an interest in, uh... Whatchamacallits. You know, whatchamacallits. Energy weapons. Where are they? Oh, there it is. Nikola, Tesla, and you. 
Is my mouse running out of battery or something? Like, what's happening? I'm clicking, it's not... I don't want to click too many times because... Hello, mouse, I'm clicking. There we go. Hmm. I'm concerned because if... Ugh, gross. If uh, it decides not to shoot during a f fight, then obviously I wouldn't be too happy about that. Fire hose box. I don't think uh, there'd be anything interesting in a fire hose box. Museum information. Oh, exhibit guide. Oh my god, there's so much to read! The Museum of Technology is proud to present a journey through the history of ground transportation. Take a step back in time and see the original steam-powered car and the development of the internal combustion engine. Experience the rise of micro-sized nuclear power and walk through our two-story mock fusion engine to see what happens firsthand when you turn the key. Exhibit sponsored by the Chrysler Corporation. That's nice. The Museum of Technology is proud to be in the home or proud to be the home of some of the original prototypes of the Mr. Handy, Mr. Gutsy, and Protectron robotic lines. See the development of these metallic assistants and how they've made our lives easier. Play our artificial intelligence game where you'll program robots. Oh, watch it obey your commands in real time. Sounds exciting. After seeing what happens, after seeing what makes them tick, you'll never look at your robot the same way again. Ah! Flight exhibit. Take to the skies and soar above the clouds as you view our aircraft exhibits throughout the Museum of Technology. The original Wright Brothers Flyer, the vintage World War II P-51 Mustang, and several other aircrafts can be found in hanging about the museum. Uh huh. Also, be sure and visit. What? Also, be sure and visit. That makes no sense. I'll sure be sure to visit our flight experience gallery where you can take a simulated airline flight on board a full-size jetliner or step into a hair-raising white knuckle world of air traffic control in our Tower of Terror exhibit sponsored by the Lockreed Industries. Oh. Countdown to excitement as you take the stars take to the stars in our brand new space flight gallery. Marveled at man's ingenu a marvel at man's ingenuity as you view and oh my god I can't read anymore too much reading ah to view an exact replica of the Virgo 2 moon lander that participated in the first manned moon landing dabble with forces beyond your comprehension in our working g-force simulator ride or take to the stars in the Copernicus planetarium exhibit sponsored by the United States Space Administration Wow, there's a lot to read here special events oh my god well this video is gonna be like crazy reading Thanks to a generous grant from the Vault Tech Corporation, the Vault Tour is open to the public. Walk through a section of actual Vault and observe all the modern conveniences Vault Tech has added to its now legendary nuclear fallout shelters. Interact with the exhibits within the Vault and see just how life within one of these subterranean marvels is comfortable as living at home. Time tickets for the tour are now available at the information desk at the main anteroom. Vault Tech was not... well, the Vault was not very good. It was crazy stuffy. West Tech, the world's leading arms manufacturer, demonstrate the T-51B power armor suit in our Darwin Theater. Get a first-hand look at how the armor is designed to defeat any type of adversary with an actual live combat simulation using robotic targets. Time tickets are available, blah blah blah. Lecture. Oppenheimer's Folly, a lecture by Professor R.J. Gumby. This lecture explores the very real possibility that nuclear war may not be as far off as we think and the effects it will have on the future of our planet. By illustrating past uses of smaller scale atomic weapons, Professor Gumby will shock you, frighten you, and make you wish you could just duck and cover and survive a real nuclear attack. Tickets are now available, blah blah blah. Wow. Copernicus planetarium schedule is subject to change without notice. Please inquire at the information desk for tickets and ticket prices. Interesting. This game is just amazing how much attention they played to, like, even these little tiny details that no one would really care about. Like, who but me would read this? Oops, I didn't mean to click. Uh, Gigantomax theater schedule is subject to change, blah blah blah, yikes. Cower in fear, gigantic vehicles drive at the viewer. Ooh, 
roller coaster. So, are these times actually like what? Colonoscopy? <laughs> oh my god. Hey there, Jigs. I finally found a good place to ditch your share of the loot. It was a hell getting. It was hell getting here, but I made it. I left the usual breadcrumbs all over some of the info terminals in this place. Their computer security was a joke. Complete the sequence and you're home free. But make any mistake, and the system will lock you out. We'll meet up in the usual spot later. Good luck, Prime. Hmm. Huh. Wasn't that zero 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 before? Oh. The hell? Okay, well I have to cut the video off because my dog is going crazy trying to get out. Okay, never mind. She opened the door by herself. Good job, dog. <sighs> zero zero nine. Error. Sequence locked. What? Tech museum? Lit? I don't get it. Error. Sequence locked. I really don't get it, but yeah, I'm gonna cut the video off because it's been a long time since this timer went off. And I started it late too, so it's gonna be a long video. See you guys next time!